ZapTest is proud to introduce a scriptless approach in building automated test cases. This approach is intended for users with no programming skills. The new step view offers a convenient way for quick and easy test development. The side toolbar contains draggable icons for special steps, such as the if-else block, the wait, and comment steps to control an iteration or test run, and steps to access ZapTest's internal objects or test parameters. The view toolbar includes controls to navigate through the test diagram and drop-down list for quick access to any variable or test parameter. We will start building our test case by scanning the application's UI and collecting test objects. Next, we will add objects to the diagram and define our test steps. For this, we need to locate an object either in the GUI map or in the Repository Explorer. We can simply double-click the object or drag it into the diagram in the step view. In the first step, we will use the application object and the launch method to open the Firefox browser and navigate it to our website. Next, we will validate the loaded home page using zap test object and the exist method. Then we will click on the login link. Next, we will include a logical step. We will use the if block to check if the username object appears on the next page. And based on that, we will branch our test flow. We will use true path in the if block to add steps to do a user login. From the second view, we will drag the edit field object for the username and select the type method. The type value must be included in the argument field. For the password field argument, we will include the password value and enter keyword to submit the login page. To validate a successful login, we will drag the welcome object from our third view and select the exist method. In addition, we can use an alternative or false path in the if block to stop the test run if the login page did not load. And for both the comment and the stop test step, we need to find a corresponding icon in the toolbox. To make our test data-driven, we will define two parameters using the local data table for the username and password. Now we will include a reference in the parameters in the type steps arguments. Our test is ready. Let's run it and review the results. Any test created using the scriptless approach can be used to generate test documentation. To do this, we will navigate to the doc module and press the Generate from Script button. The doc module provides controls for editing auto-generated documentation, for saving it to a file, or for exporting it to one of the supported test management systems. Scriptless test can also be used for a parallel test execution in multi-run mode. We will navigate to the mRun module and connect to four remote devices. We will use our test for parallel execution on all the connected devices. As you can see, we are able to run our scriptless test on the iOS, Android, and Windows platforms without any modifications.
please visit our website at www.zaptest.com to start your test automation today.